hey guys this is your girl polish beauty welcome back to the channel so today is just like an off day for me um i'm editing some video lounging around getting some stuff cleaned up just taking care of some things at home so i really wanted to take the time to film for you guys to let you see how i started my youtube channel with my cell phone by filming my videos with my cell phone and editing them with iMovie and how I maintain this I did this for like six or seven months on my channel granted you could do it as long as you want now I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the setup then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna kind of give you guys some tips and let you know when when I think it's time to purchase a camera but you could definitely start your channel the same way that I started my with my cell phone and actually sitting in my bathroom all right, you guys, let's get to it. Okay, guys, this is where I shot my very first video. And I shot it here in my bathroom, and I had my phone, and I had this ring light that I ordered from Amazon, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put a link down below where you can get this Amazon. But I'm gonna show you guys, like, some of the troubles that I had getting, um, getting started or whatnot, so... The first thing was my pop socket. You know, I was working. I love having my pop socket on my phone. But my phone would not fit in here with the pop socket on. And so with that being said, I had to figure I had to take my pop socket. And then the first video that I ever filmed, I filmed it with my phone turned like this. And when you go back, if you scroll back and you watch that very first video, you can tell that I filmed it with the video like this. And then I didn't even know that this did this and that I could film like this when I first purchased it. Only thing I knew when I first started my channel was that I felt like I had something that I needed to tell the world and that I needed to start and I feel like I needed to start then. And I really didn't do any research other than the purchase of this ring light. And this ring light wasn't too expensive. It was very cheap. I think maybe like nine or $10, maybe $20 at the most, if that. Um, and I still use, actually still use this ring light. And I was still using this setup up until just like a few days ago when I bought my camera. This is what I filmed all my videos with. And then so um, here the ring light comes with a little thing where you can plug it up. You can adjust like the um, the brightness and the dimness of it. I don't have it plugged up right now. It comes with a USB plug that you can plug in like a little plug charger. I'm plugging into the wall and turn on. But this very first video was filmed in my video with, you know, the wall as my background. And me sitting with this camera and this ring light that I purchased. And that's how I started. And then I moved. I didn't even have my vanity yet. And then so I moved from here to my bedroom with my vanity. And we're going to go in there and I'm going to show you guys that this is me on my vanity. I've got a lot of stuff up here because I film and I just got, I filmed a video for you guys. And so, um, so I moved in here to my vanity and when I moved to my vanity, when I did my tutorials, I used the mirror in my vanity to help like show, to see how to do my makeup and make sure my looks were together. And then later on, my husband had purchased me this little mirror that I use on the side and I look at and I do my makeup with. And I use my vanity and this is how I filmed my videos up until like just a little, a little time ago. Like this is how I filmed my video up until just a little while ago. And then, you know, eventually, of course, I purchased the background and I did all of those types of things. But how I started was on my phone with this ring like in my bathroom. And I'm going to give you guys one of my biggest hassles to starting my channel with my phone and the ring light besides what I showed you guys was editing. Um, I have a Mac, so I was able to connect my phone to my computer, but that was like a hard transition because you have to write, have like a legit Apple card or an Apple certified card, charger cord to link your phone to your computer or it won't trust it, it won't link up. So I had all types of those issues and then getting there learning how to use my first editing software, how to use the iMovie. That first video doesn't have any transitions. The editing was very choppy on there. I had no idea what I was doing. My son, my oldest son, he gave me some tips and some hints on like how to do that type of stuff. And so I definitely had a struggle. So if you have an Apple product, um, uh, iPhone, an iPad, or the Mac. I have the iPhone, the iPad, and the Mac. But the thing about I was going to use my iPad, 
But my four year old, I've given kind of gifted the iPad to him. He watch a lot of YouTube and do a lot of play a lot of educational games and watch and he uses it and he has it and I hadn't seen the iPad since. And so he's taken over the iPad. So that was an option for me to film with or to edit my videos on. Now, even if you don't have an iPhone, you can still film and edit your videos for free. So you can use your Samsung, your Android, whatever phone that you have, as long as it's a smartphone. And there are apps out there that has free editing software. Matter of fact, a girl that I know, she and I both were new to YouTube. She was using her phone and she was actually editing on, she edited her videos on her phone. Well, I would transfer mine to my computer and edit on my computer because that was easier for me to do than it was for me to, now I did edit like one or two videos on my phone, but not like the first ones at all. It was like some videos that didn't require much editing. I could just like cut a scene here, cut a scene there, and I could just put the intro on it and upload it to YouTube. And so um, you can still, you know, use your phone. You can get some free editing software. You can edit on your phone. You can upload it straight to YouTube from your phone. You can get your intro from your phone. It's like so much of stuff that you can do with your phone before you even have to put money into a camera. And you can definitely start building your YouTube channel, start getting you some subscribers some followers, and then you're learning as you go. And I would recommend anyone to start their channel with their phone before they start investing in cameras and lights and paying for editing software, use the free software because YouTube, depending on what your content is, I'm, I'm assuming it doesn't matter what your content is, is that your channel, that your YouTube can YouTube is a lot of work because you got to film the content, you got to edit the content, and then you got to find some subscribers and hopefully that someone watches your content and people don't always watch your content especially when you're a new channel starting out and so you don't know if this is going to be something you're going to stick with because it's such hard work to maintain a youtube channel it really is a job and so if you're working a full-time job you have a family you have kids you have all these other things going on i would suggest you start out using your phone and free editing software and build your youtube up i would i would do that I would recommend you do that until you get until you get monetized or until you get a thousand or 500 subscribers that you can actually continue to use your people use their phones for years to, to run their YouTube channel and didn't put any money into their channel. Now you want to say, well, I tell you, you didn't wait until no, I did not wait until I got like 500 subscribers. I'm not even monetized yet before I started investing in my channel. It's because it was such a hassle for me to, you know, because. I'm not a stay at home person. You know, I work a full time job. I have kids. I have a husband. So I need something that can easily be transitioned. And I, I've i had my YouTube channel. When I started my YouTube channel back in October, I had to already previously told myself, oh, well, I'm going to wait until January before I buy any camera or invest any extra money into my YouTube channel. So all the things that you guys saw that I put on my channel, all of the makeup and stuff that I was purchasing, yeah, I showcase it on my YouTube channel, but actually I was buying makeup and stuff like that before I even started my channel. And so, um, as you guys see me scale back some on the purchasing of the makeup and stuff that recently started after I received the channel, but I was purchasing makeup like that before I even started my channel. So I wasn't putting any extra money into my channel because YouTube isn't paying me. I'm not getting any money out of this. You know, you hope to one day to be able to get some type of money because if you're you're putting all this time into it you're hoping to get something out of it but when i first started my channel i was just starting my channel to help people because when i was learning how to do my makeup i was looking up videos people was teaching me the wrong ways it was this person it was just hard to find one channel that had all the tutorials that had everything laid out step by step that you can actually follow and i was like you know what i can be that person because i'm not over here doing extravagant type of makeups and i can really sit down and film a video and teach people how to do their makeup and so many of my friends have watched my videos and they've used my brow tutorial they may use uh, my technique I put my foundation on or my technique I do my eyeshadow they was like oh my goodness I didn't know that you could do it that way and get such amazing look so I've had people tell me that they love the way that I do my makeup and it makes things so much easier for them 
So that's why I originally started my YouTube channel. But as I'm putting more into it, I'm hopefully hoping to get monetized. I'm hoping to get more subscribers. So it's like, is it too late in 2020 to start a YouTube makeup channel? No, let me tell you, I know YouTube is oversaturated with so many new channels. So many people want to hit on that market for makeup or for whatever, but I don't think it's ever too late to follow your dreams or to try something new. If YouTube is something that you want to try and it's a dream or a passion you have, I definitely think you should try it out. Now it's definitely going to take some work. It's not going to happen overnight, but the way these makeup gurus are following, you know, you got the Tati and James Charles, the drama getting. And then you got <laughs> Jeffree Star, The Breakup. Then you got Nikki Tutorials, I'm Transgender. Well, it looks like to me, oh, let me not forget, Jaclyn Hill, M Lipstick Gate. <laughs> the way I'm looking at it, baby, these top beauty girls are falling left and right. And the people need to start following smaller channels who are not lying to them who are still genuine and who are still enjoying what they do and not doing not doing it for a check because i wish i got a check but i don't and so i feel like it's not too late for us i feel like we the new generations are right on time because baby the beauty girls that's on top are falling left and right they've got stuff going on and so i would much rather watch a smaller channel that's got some genuine content and that's genuinely trying to show me how to do something and versus watching a big channel who's telling me to buy something that's overpriced and don't even work like they said it would work because it has happened. I have bought products recommended by the big, the big gurus and I've gotten that product and it didn't even work like it was supposed to. Even their own products sometimes don't even work like they say they're going to work when they're selling it to you. So these people, you know, they've got accustomed to a way of life. They're making money. And they're doing it big but my thing is even if you are not going to start a makeup channel just a youtube channel period it's never too late get started by this cheap ring light get your phone and just get started and you can see whether it's going to be something you continue or not and just to let you guys know that i'm also going to be using my camera you know outside of life you know i have kids we take pictures i have a husband we take vacations we, lo we love to take pictures and do all types of stuff so i'm gonna get my money out of this camera whether youtube send me a check or not and i'm not expecting to get a check from youtube no time soon but i am looking to putting out more into my channel and getting more content out there okay i hope you guys enjoy this quick and easy look at how i started my youtube channel and how you can start yours Hey, right before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, okay?